where it is yet for LB at the hip factory. And we're gonna work on some 52 block techniques on what blocks you should use for what punches. Now I may have went over this before, but it's always good to keep going over this so it becomes muscle, muscle memory and a blueprint that you can use. So fighting position. So we're gonna try to go hand for hand. So if he jabs, I use a rare skull and bone. Yeah. Jab. Jab. So sometimes you're you're tempted go jab, to do this. And there's nothing wrong with this except that it puts me in line for that. So before you can learn how to cross your blocks, it's best to get arm for arm. So now if he throws his power hand at me, see, I use my lead skull and bone and I'm zoned. If he throws his power hand, I'm still actually in position because I'm zoned. Now, if I if he throws a power hand and I switch, I am now not even that for the big hook. I'm in big trouble there. So you want to use hand for hand. If he's throwing the big hook, go here. Now, if he throws the overhand, see what happens? Now, if I try to switch and cross and cross over, and I'm not quick enough, I can get stuck. So again, hand for hand. If he throws the overhand, I want to use my rib to my lead. So each hand for hand. If he, if I'm doing my triangle cherry and he's throwing three jabs, I'm right there. Once again, crossing three jabs. It's good, but I leave that hand open for an option. So can you cross? Yes, you can cross. When you cross, be safe, you wanna use a pivot. So let's look at that. Now we're gonna do skull and bones. What I said is hand for hand, right? Now I'm gonna use this skull and bones to stop his rear hand. Let's see how it looks. Exactly. What did I do? I pivoted to take away, you say that, to take away his option. Right there. So throw the right hand. Bang. Pivot. So now I'm no longer standing in position of that hand. From there, I pivot out and I can go back to work and go about my 